how's it going out there, everyone? Thanks for tuning in for another Saturday. Uh, last few weeks, last few weeks, I was in Nashville, uh, and now I'm back in San Diego. So I'm in my bonus room here, and I hope everyone's doing fantastic out there. Uh, having this microphone like this always feels more like it's uh, like I'm at a gig. I don't know. That's kind of fun. Uh, I got Brian back here with me. Brian, how's it going? Good, everybody. How are you doing? Nice to see you. I'm glad to be back. Uh, so Brian's helping with the comments on Facebook and YouTube. Cody Hicks, what's up? I think it's going to be January 17th for the next Gibson event thing. Uh, I'll definitely lock that in and start plugging that. Uh, what's up, Instagram? What's up, TikTok? This video, I was going to talk about loopers. So what I'm going to do right now is actually turn my amp off so it doesn't make a loud sound when I show you a real a real uh, affordable looper uh, thing that you can do. Unplugging Sorry, unplugging there. Um, this right here is a Boss looper and i've had this one for years but this is an rc1 so it's just a you know one stomp looper pedal but there's a pretty cool hack with this uh just for money wise for your budget wise right if you don't want to get one of those ed sheeran things they boss makes these universal little stomp switches this is called the fs 5U. Hey, 5U, man. FS5U. Um, back when I got it, it was like 20 bucks, right? It's probably it's probably double now. But there's a, a little button here. And so what this enables you to do is you can put it into the stop undo. And when you only have a one stomp pedal to stop your loop, you have to double tap. And that can get confusing, especially if you're a beginner. Um, Boss makes you know, a uh, looper with two buttons as well, but this is a cheaper way to do it. Now, instead of having to double tap to stop your loop, you can just hit that once and it stops your loop. And if you hold this down, it then deletes your loop. So what you do is you get the most affordable looper, but then you have that second button that you're not having to pay as much money for. And so this is the Boss RC1. This is the fs5u real simple so what so what i have is i have uh my guitar and the cable goes out of the guitar into uh my overdrive pedal and right now i'm what you're hearing is the schwarzenator overdrive pedal available at martymusic.com my looper sold out a few years ago and i'm not getting any more of those back so if you did get a signed looper it's now a collector's item i guess because there's no more but I do still have overdrive pedals and delay pedals. So anyway, this is the Boss RC1. So I have my Schwarzenegger overdrive, and out of that, going into my uh, I'll Be Back delay pedal. A little theme there with the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you're Gen X, you might get it. Right, Brian? I got it. <laughs> well, actually, tw uh, social media named my pedals, so... So anyway, and by the way, we are watching your comments, and thank you guys so much for all your uh, support and your comments. Brian's watching right there. So overdrive, uh, guitar, overdrive, and then delay just for a little extra sheen, and then into the boss loop station. So I'm going to lean back down and plug this back in. By the way, did uh, Brian? I don't know if you caught this, but I sat in with uh, in Nashville last Monday. I sat in with uh, one of the like greatest guitar players ever, named a friend of mine named Guthrie pa uh, Guthrie Trap. Okay. So I sat in with him, and I had a I had a uh, some camera crew there, so th there'll be footage later, but. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever like gotten up to sit in with a more talented guitar player in my career that I can think of. 
I've never I've never jammed with like John Schofield. So anyway, uh, that is coming up. Any important comments that I missed yet, Brian? Black shirt. Oh. <laughs> or maybe his black sweats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did a live stream. So, uh, well, now I've had the hat for so long now. And now I have to, like, represent my own brand, you know. Now it's stuck. It's glued on. Uh, okay, so if I hold that extra pedal down, now it's deleted <clears throat> now if uh a, a tip for working on your loopers like for instance that little johnny b good style jam if you want to have a break where you can go and then it comes in that would mean that you would want to start actually start the loop on that four chord of the blues so I'll just play through that little blues boogie in, in B flat this time, right? The one chord. Then the four chord. One chord. Five chord. One chord. So if I think of that progression, but I start the actual recording of the loop on the four chord, and then complete it through, then you'll hear that the break is right where you want to come in on that. So check it out. I'm going to start on the E flat, which is the four chord. I have to keep going here. I'm about to finish the loop. There, I just finished the loop. Now if I click that to stop it, I just hit that extra button instead of having to double tap. You can still double tap that function. So watch, I'll double tap it this time, which is just trickier. Here comes a double tap. So just a quick double tap. Instead, I have that extra button. So whenever the loop starts, it's gonna be on that four chord. So now I can turn that overdrive on and I can kind of play a Johnny B. Good style riff or Johnny B. Good. I stopped it, started again. So just as I stopped right there, I'm holding my foot down on that uh, extra button, and so now it's deleted. So if I hit that same start and stop button or record, uh, there's going to be nothing there. I just did that. See, nothing there. Go over to the extra thing, hold it down, and it deletes. So here's another good tip. And so I was saying a Boss RC1 is what I'm using right now. Boss makes great loopers. I think they made really the first 
commercially sold uh, looper. I mean, that was popular. There was actually the boomerang, but then Boss really came out with a specific guitar looper. So here's another thing to help you if you're a beginner or not, and you're working on your rhythm uh, with a, creating good loops. You can do it as a drum beat first and, and create a clean drum beat without having to worry about the chord progression. Um, and then when you have a good percussive loop, it's steady, and then you can layer on top of it. Yes, I'm using the Bo Boss RC1. So check it out if I went. So I just feel a little groove there. So if I hit a rec uh, the record loop, and I'll do it like, you know, I don't know, four measures. Here it goes. One, one, two, here I start. Two, three, four, and. So now I have a percussive loop. I can hit the extra button to stop it. I can hit the looper again to start it. If I hit that looper a second time, it's now recording. So maybe without me recording, I just have that groove going and I'm just going to try and come up with something. Um, and then once I like it, I'll record it. So let's see what happens. Now, using a metronome with a looper, you can you can do that for practice. But once you've done, once you've started the loop, the metronome, no matter how good of tempo you have, 
the the metronome will not stay once you've created the loop. It's just it's too even if it's like a microsecond, you know, even someone with perfect tempo, you can't be down to the actual microsecond. Uh, at least 99.99% of people cannot. So what happens is it starts to phase out just even if it's microseconds off. But you can use the metronome to to have a to make a really tight loop. And then you're going to have to have the metronome off once the loop is going. So, but yes, creating just like a little percussive thing is really great. Um Obviously, a blues is a is a fun little um, you know way that you can practice soloing, but you can also take. I don't want to, you know. I think I've done so well without playing anything really too famous for the for the claims and all that. So I think I'm gonna just stick with that for this live stream because I didn't really play Johnny B. Good, so I think I think I'm all right. Um, yeah, Brian's got another question for me. Yeah, Brian. Static when you use your looper. I mean, uh, I don't. You'd have to know what kind of looper you're using, what kind of cables are going on. There, uh, there's so many different issues. But I, I almost wonder if you're. Another thing is if you have a loop going, and then you switch your amp to the overdrive channel. So it's in the amp, then the whole loop is then going to be overdriven. So that's the, another thing. Like I like to have an overdrive pedal separate to the loop. But man, it could be the looper. It could be the cables. That's all I know. Any anything else, Brian? No. No. Okay. Um. Oh, Lisa, my sister. Lisa's my favorite sister. That that is really my sister. Hey Lisa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh is there another loop? Yeah, there's another loop. <laughs> So one other looper tip is playing the groove first. Don't just come in right on the one and start looping. You'll have a better sense of rhythm if you groove it a little bit or pl if it's a like a 12 bar blues, play it all the way through one time before you actually start looping. Okay, here I go.
Thank you. 